Hey guys, it's Ole from Golden Guardians. I'm here to teach you my bard. Bard is a kind of like creative champion. You, you are not winning by skill. It's like you are winning by kind of creating a situation for the team. So yeah, I think definitely if you play bard, you, sh you start to feel like you know, you, you have to do something first. So yeah. Bard is the top champion. I think Bard is a champion. You can uh, move around the map, kind of. Also, you have to, you know, pick up the chime. So it just makes me feel like a kind of free soul in game. You know, sometimes when you play other support, your job is like always stay next to your teammates. But like Bard is like just like wow, just like move around the map and it's just I'm gonna do whatever I want. You know, so it just makes me feel kind of free soul when I play Bard. So when I play Bard, uh, I usually go Guardian and Font of Life. And this is the third rune is kind of situational. Conditioning, second wind, bomb plating. So if you think your early game is dangerous against like Leona, Nutras, you go bomb plating. Or if you play against Karma, you go second wind because it's too much poke. But if you think your laning is fine, and then you know you just go late game, then you go conditioning. So I think in general you you wanna play against Notrus or Leona. So pick bomb plating, and then this is the it's kind of preference on flitching or leave it tower lies. I will go on flitching because Bard is is good, but like it's not you know that much as like Soraka or something. So. And the second one, Domination, Zombie Ward, and Ultimate Hunter, or the Move Speed Hunter. But I think this is also your preference. So I think I usually go Move Speed, but it's your choice. Then the second one will be Attack Speed and Flex, the damage. Yeah, and then usually if enemy is too strong, you go Yggdras, if not, you died. But usually Bard is really good with the Yggdras, so I go Yggdras. My favorite skin is the Snow skin, the, because when I use Polar, this skin go to, what is that? Penguin. This change it to Penguin. <laughs> I think usually people go Q, and I think Q is better in early game. But sometimes you go W first, and then just like put W around the lane. But I I think I don't like to use this W much because in level one, if you go W, you just literally just have nothing, just heal. So I think in level one, I I I think 95% I go Q first. Most of the time, you you want to max Q because people kind of underestimate this Q, but it's like whenever you max Q, your CD getting lower, and then the slow and stun duration is like getting higher. So if you actually max Q, it's almost two seconds, like 1.8 seconds for the stun. It's actually a crazy skill if you actually hit. So yeah, I always max Q first, but sometimes I just put second W at level 4, when enemy is like too much pressure like a Karma or Lux because you want to sustain instead of you just try to kill them. So that's the only moment I go W, w and then just max Q after. Uh, after Q, just most of the time just max W. Uh, some people, you know, max E for CD down for Polar, but I think it's just uh, pointless. So yeah, I think just max W after. If you actually can hit their uh, both you, you, you can go Spersive and they just like make a gold really a lot in early game. If not, you go Relic Shield. It's like, you, especially when you play against a really strong uh, support, you just go Relic Shield. Like, uh, if they are like Thresh, Nautilus, which is like, if you ever try to auto attack them, you just die, then you go Relic Shield and they play safe and then always uh, get the side stone and right time so yeah i think 
Defensive way you go l e d i c shield. Uh, usually Bard don't wanna play against like a really strong laning page. So I think I don't I don't like to pick a blind in general because if you blind, they can pick really like they sustain support and they just like really make your game hard. So I think I usually pick Bard against like uh, tank support. So because Bard can outscale every tank support. And then if you actually don't die in early game, Bard is gonna do much, much better than their normal tank support. In early game, they always wanna uh, make a kill against Bard in laning page. So early game, Bard's job is like always try to survive. So I think it's just really good for Bard in early game. So Bard early game is like. Uh, You don't wanna actually like uh, straight fi uh, fight to be too bot because your skill is not for it's not for like actually winning to be too. Your skill is just for kind of sustain and then just like be okay in l a n y page. So always think about like if you just fight. Uh, basically, your portal doesn't do anything for straight to be too when like compared to other support, right? So you have to think if you just trade two v two, it means you don't have a skill. So you you have to use your skill to bring your t your jungler or like whoever coming to bot. So make a use portal to make a situation. Especially bard always gonna win by like move uh, move and then number advantage. So this champion in early game always try to survive. You don't wanna. Straight fight because that's what enemy want. That's not like bard want. So always focus on survive first as a bard in early game. When is bard strong? It's like uh, when you start to move around the map, like mid and both side. Like enemy support always gonna feel pressure to match bard. But bard strength is the polar. You can just move around the map first. So you kind of like. Make enemy support to just like a shaky. It's like you go bot, and then when enemy support is stay bot, you just use portal to go mid. It's like you just keep moving around the map, and then enemy support will have a hard time just catching up the bard move time. So that's the moment you can you make a number advantage and they start to make a fight. So always move around the map instead of straight two v two, and then when you move the map. Always make sure your AD carry can farm. So your job in early game as a bard is don't get off, and then always the move first. First, when your AD carry can farm safe, usually when the lane, the the minions are kind of pulling. You, when you when AD is pulling the wave, and then that time your AD carry can do whatever he wants with the minion. So that moment you can just move around. Or if your AD carry or push all the way the wave, so that you know you don't need to go to help him. So always make sure your AD carry can can farm, and then you start to move from from the base. Usually people go this the both side p o r t a l so it actually save like five seconds. So when enemy just like just walk like this, it takes like kind of long time, but Bard can always just like move. Use Pora and then go there first, like this. So you can go here first, and then sometimes if you don't have CD, you can just use this way. You can also go this way. So, yeah, like always can save the time with the Pora. You always need to use a Pora to create like you know five to ten second like the early earlier the time gap. So you always move around the map like this, and then from the bot. You can always portal this way. You can just like make a portal and then go mid first. So when enemy support is just like stick to their turret, you can you can just literally just move around. So sometimes what I do is like uh, I push all the way, and then from here you can just go like this. So literally enemy support just like stay bot, but I can just move the map. So this time, what what's gonna happen is enemy support gonna just like spam ping like oh bard is moving, bard is moving, don't do anything. So even though enemy mid is winning because I'm 
uh, moving as a bard, they cannot actually play too aggressive. So bard just like moving around the map with the portal and they just give really lots of pressure on their, their team. So very basic stuff is, so as I say, if you, if you just try to 2v2 fight, it's like, it means you don't have a, one skill, which is portal. So you always, always need to think about how to use portal uh, in, you know, make, to make a fight. So what usually people do, or I do, is always put pink around the, my side, and then if enemy just step up like this, then I just like portal with my teammates. So I, I bring my jungler and they gank like this. So this is really important skill. And when it comes to the top, is uh, if enemy push the wave all the way here, and then with my jungler, I can go this way. So this guy just died. So I think if Bard is Mia, and then if enemy whoever just like play like a bit aggressive, like more than the mid, mid wave, it's like they should die. It's like, it's really hard to run away from Bard because it's like, let's say I pull right here. And then even though this guy just a flash away, I can just put. So this guy just gonna die. So always, uh, don't show yourself. I think Bard is like always need to be hide, and then whenever they show up, you can just always gank with your teammates. I think mid game, what Bard wants is always move around the map. So make sure you just leave off the ward around the map. So always lands when you think like there is a ward on the map. Usually, what people do is like stay mid and they just say like doing nothing. But like Bard always like just like move around the map with your jungler and then always give pressure on their side. It's like if you push one more, you're gonna die because I'm Bard. So just like having Bard make enemy think you cannot, uh, they cannot push so that your side can play aggressive. Usually Bard don't wanna straight 5v5. It's not meant for it unless you make a really good ult engage. But yeah, I think Bard is really good at killing side, so always focusing on how to kill their side first. I think Bard would have really so many different ways to uh, use it, so it's really hard to explain most of the time. But, so he here is the thing, uh, Bard would is just really make someone using the hourglass themselves. When you team fight or like early skirmish, some sometimes they're you know, enemy make a mistake, randomly misclick the hourglass and they just die because they use it at wrong time, right? So you can think that way. You can make them using at wrong time hourglass. So in team fight, you can actually hold your wood and then you can just wait for enemy carry to walk up and they just wood after. Then like, you're kind of forcing AD they're 80 or mid to use, you know, hourglass at really stupid time. So they can literally just die by barred wood. And then sometimes you just hold your wood, just make them not want to walk up because it's guaranteed they're going to die. So your wood's going to give them lots of pressure instead of just like damage. You don't have damage, but this barred wood always can create so much like uh, situation, but in creative way. It's, it's not like a Leona would you just hit them and the CC die, right? So Bard would need some experience and you need to see the angle when it's the better. But most of the time it's always better to use ult on their carries because when it comes to 5v5, if enemy mid and AD don't do the damage for like two or three seconds, it's already over because late game usually you just one shot their carries, right? So always use ult for Make sure your team can do damage and enemy cannot do the damage. So as I said, the bard always want to fight with the number advantage. So bard ult is like kind of forcing them into fight. So you just move around the map with the portal and they bring your teammates. And then when enemy try to move, uh, run away, you just ult. So this guy is just gonna die because we have a number, like uh, one more number advantage, and then this guy cannot move anymore. So this guy just died. So always 
uh, make a number and then just like uh, make a five with it. Yeah, so usually the barred wood can stop the herald, the, what is it? he's just like crushing the turret one. So he stopped the damage. So usually if you have a bard, you, you don't get, you don't need to get pressure to stop their herald fight. So you can just like, yeah, you can, you guys can have it, but that's herald not gonna do anything. So, but if the enemy jungler has a herald, you need to try to match their jungler move around the map. So make sure they don't use header at the right time. It's it's kind of you need more experience how to hold your word for header, and that's gonna actually change a lot of early game. So late game, Bard is getting more and more like uh, annoying for their team because after laning phase, Bard don't need to do you know don't need to stay with the AD carry. So. What Bard want is always uh, get the vision first because you you can always run away like a Rakan with the portal, right? So always stay next to the wall and then if enemy is coming, just use portal to run away. So this make you can place ward really deeply. So I think you get, you always get the deep vision like this and then with this information, you can always decide you want to kill their side or not. So let's say you go mid, you get the top side vision. And if no one is showing top, it means they will be usually both sides. So this time, if enemy just randomly pushing top, then you go top and they kill this guy. So yeah, this is the, the step is you don't, you always want to get vision first and then gather information. And then when you, when you are sure you have a number of advantage, you start to make a fight. So that's the mid late game part logic. If I have a full build, I will go low cat because uh, low cat is like give uh, so much tank here for a bard. So I like low cat most of the time. And second item will be kind of hard, but it's it's also preference is if you want to move around the map, that man played. But if you want to stabilize the game, I will go chain because this one is like really lots of HP and then nice the active skill. So I, I will go chain. Third item will be redemption, I think. Yeah, I will go like this and then yeah, this will be my full build. Yeah, I think the bard combo usually the easy way one is the ult and the way for the second and then you just kill like this. So when you ult, there's a yellow is going into their body and then boom. So you just make a time and then you just kill it after like this. So this is the basic combo. So if you do it in team fight, but this is just gonna win you a game, but always make sure you know they are flash or not. Because usually when you ult, they always try to flash away. So like this, they gonna flash like this. So you can always think about what they gonna do when they got ult. So usually, I, I like to do Q flash because people actually don't actually expect Q flash many times. So when it comes to five v five, if you just like you can just ult first, but sometimes. You see the angle, you just like Q flash, they just, this guy's gonna die. Just no matter what, they're gonna die. Or another combo is like, uh, you just Q, you just Q first, and then when they got CC, you just ult after. And then this guy gonna get, die, like for sure. And another, another one is the portal. When you use portal, usually if enemy is here, you just put open portal and then they, they gonna, if they, think I'm gonna take it, they're gonna take it too. So sometimes I just use portal and I don't take it. So this guy gonna go by himself like this. Or I just portal first and then if he come, you just you just queue after. And then this guy just gonna stop there. I think Bardi's champion always wanna make a fight and then but still you don't wanna fight straight, 5v5. So this champion uh, is hard to understand in, uh, in very first time, but 
well, like more and more you play and then just play around the number, you will feel easier to play this champion because this champion is like really annoying actually you, when you play against good bard because it feels like it's really unplayable at some point because bard always gonna move first, always make a fight first because like uh, Leona ult is like you can dodge, you can cleanse or whatever but bard ult is like uh, if you don't have a move skill, you can you just die especially like uh, when you play AD carry but you have a gay force you just die so I think this champion is really really like at first time it's really hard because it's not like a straight fight champion so you need to understand how to play the map how to play the game then you will see the benefit of playing bard this was my bard guideline uh, I wish you guys just you know, enjoy my guideline and thank you for watching the video. Uh, leave comments uh, about whatever you want to uh, learn, then I'll be there. Thank you for watching.